So the next time you see a gang of leather-clad bikers, don't assume that they're bad news because they may just be guardian angels protecting a child. So joining us are Bad Bob, Bad Blade, Bob? Hammer, and Doc P. And they are with Bikers Against Child Abuse. Welcome, guys. Don't let them fool you, as we're saying. You guys are some really good guys. Do you, you find you get uh, judged by your Shh, don't outer people. appearance? <laughs> Judge, but what's wrong with our outer appearance? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, not a thing. No, nothing, nothing. Honestly. I didn't say anything. Uh, <laughs> but we're inspired by children every day. Yeah. We're inspired by children. How did you get into this with, with Bikers Against Child Abuse? Well, so tell us about the organization and, and what you do. Uh, quick, quickly, the way I got involved is I ran into a, a number of BACA members in their back patches, uh, and I asked them a question. I've been riding for many, many years, probably before any of you were born, I've been riding. But um, I, saw the, I saw the patches, I went up and I talked to them and found out what they did, and I was able to match up pretty quickly a uh, passion that I have yeah. for riding motorcycles with a passion for helping children. Yeah. So how do they combine the two? How does this group work? How, how does the group work? Yeah. Well, we, we get children referred to us through any number of channels. It could be agencies, it could be word of mouth, it could be somebody saw our billboard, somebody watches a show like this, we yeah. get children referred to us, and then we evaluate uh, whether or not uh, these children will fit into our mission. And the, the organization was founded almost 20 years ago by a, a gentleman up in uh, Utah, Chief is his road name, and he's a child play therapist. And he was able to put together wow. the fact that motorcycles, bikers, and children seem to, to, to come together well. They, they love motorcycles, yeah. they feel safe yeah. around motorcycles, and he's able to figure out a, a correlation pretty quickly that bikers can help children who have been abused. It's, it's, it's amazing. And Do you guys have any personal stories of a really great experience you've had working with Baca? Well, they're getting quiet now. I know. <laughs> this, this is television, guys. There has to have been a moment, uh, though, when you're like... When you talk about Tennessee. Well, yeah, well, yeah, when you're like, this yeah, is let why let me loosen them up here a little bit. Yeah. We just had a, a, a case uh, recently where a child... Uh, and we go to court with the children. We can explain that a little okay. bit. Cool. We go to the chil co court with children because oftentimes a defense lawyer will subpoena all the friends and relatives of children as witnesses to keep them out of the courtroom. Witnesses can't be in the courtroom. Uh, so uh, we work with the children to restore their confidence, to remove the fear, mm -hmm. uh, to empower the child. We walk into the courtroom with the child. Wow. So they look out into the courtroom and they see a bunch of us, and I'm one of the small ones, wow. coming in there uh, to support them. And recently we had a, uh, a case up in Tennessee that got, uh, got a little um, uh, crazy because of the, the, the media and everything going on, and a call went out to the Baca Nation, across the Baca Nation. We're one Baca. We have 170 chapters across yeah, the United amazing. States. Wow. We're in six or seven different countries. We have forming efforts in a, in a lot more countries around the world. But they put the call out to the Bakken Nation that's saying they, they'd like as much support as possible. And we had bikers ride in from, uh, from Los Angeles, Los Angeles Utah, Utah wow. Texas. Wow. We, we oh, rode wow. up, we so rode up from, uh, from Orlando. And we ended up with uh, somewhere around uh, 100 bikers. Uh, Can give or you take a imagine seeing a hundred bikers <laughs> together for one little child? I saw that video. You guys are all like standing tough, and yeah. I just the feeling that, that it must line. give a child to see all these people who support me. Yeah, well, and the, especially on court day when they are just terrified. Scared. Yeah. Well, we gave a motorcycle escort to the child from their house. We rode probably 30 miles. Uh, well, from one, where they were staying, about 30 miles we rode, gave them a motorcycle escort, and then roared into this town square of a, a small town within Tennessee. Wow. We filled that town square up. The windows were rattling. Oh, my gosh. And uh, we got everybody's attention. That child felt brave, was able to testify, you and the it. outcome was in her, when her, in her favor. Yeah. It was great. Uh, although we made the news because we slowed down the check-in process at the courthouse, trying to get us all through <laughs> security <laughs> with our... Rings wow. and <laughs> I love you guys. What you do is so amazing. People at home, if you want to check them out, you can head to the website bacaworld.com, get more information, and hopefully get involved. Thank you so much. Baca for all you guys bacaworld.org. Got it. Bacaworld.org. We'll right Thank back. you, Hammer. Hey, welcome back to Emotional Mojo. We've been hanging out with Bikers Against Child Abuse. That's BacaWorld.org for anybody who wants information. And guys, I gotta ask, so when you got here, I noticed you had a little teddy bear. What's the story with this teddy bear? What's that all about? Well, when we, when we get a call uh, and a child is interested in becoming a Baca child or a family wants to know, someone like me uh, 
who's called the child liaison, actually interviews the family okay. and determines whether it's appropriate for BACA. And then we go meet the family. And then after that, if they become a BACA child, part of the ceremony is that we all, all these bikers standing around, take this bear and give it a hug in order to tell the child that we're filling it with courage and love and that if it ever gets empty or they ever need us back again, we'll come back and fill it up I again. That. That's I can't so I brought, like making me cry again I today. Well, I brought this bear today it's to awesome. hug because it's going to a child this weekend. We'd appreciate it if you'd help us. Absolutely. I would love to get this bear. <laughs> fill it with courage. I love that. I well, and that's the message, is the courage. I mean, that's right. what you guys, you tough bikers, can do for kids, is give them the courage to be able to face that. We yeah. give them the chance to say they're not afraid because they're a Baca child. I love it. Yeah. And, I, and I gotta tell you one thing, that, that, that Baca members come from all walks of life, and I wanted to point out that Doc P is an MD. He's, ah. uh, uh, he was a uh, pediatrician. Uh, he worked in uh, a hospital in Detroit that's familiar with the Children's Hospital in the emergency ward. He, he has testified in uh, around 20 child abuse cases and nine wow. murder, nine murder trials. trials. Murder trials. Wow. So I'm yeah. a biker, and when I met these guys, I said, this is a match. Yeah, yeah, for wow. sure. Absolutely. Let that be a lesson to people who are judging the surface. I mean, looking at you guys, you look like yeah. the kind of person that your mother would say, Stay, Stay away, away from, from him. him. <laughs> and yet you're just the opposite. Please you're, come and see my child. You're modern heroes. Yeah. I mean, right. Well, listen, so our show, Emotional Mojo, we always have a challenge. And today we're challenging people to find their mojo, what drives them, what inspires them. So for you guys, clearly children have a, a, a very special place in your heart. But what else drives you? What motivates you? I'll tell you what, the thing that motivates me, and I'll say it again, I said I want to be on my motorcycle. I want to have my knees in the breeze, and I want to know that there's a child on that other end that's going to need us and benefit from, from being with Baca. I think about that every minute, every day. Gosh. Did you have any idea when you became a biker that this would become part of your mission? No. No. <laughs> no. But what an amazing example you set. Yeah. yeah. Is, Big uh, thank you And there's you again, lots of guys. people that inspire us, lots of different agencies that mm -hmm. we get that. BacaWorld.org. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, Baca. please Baca check World. it out. See how you can help. Thank you for joining us. A thank big you thank so you again much. to our guest host, Bob. You thank did a you. great job. Thank you for watching our show, you guys. We'll see you next time on Emotional Mojo.